All right, let's get the show on the road. Hello, everybody. My name's Highside, as always, and I am here to play some Dead Island Epidemic. So tonight's going to be a good night because I'm fairly certain I'm going to be hitting Tier 4 tonight. Just a few games and I should get it. So once I hit Tier 4, I'll get a whole bunch of new weapons to play with. So I'm still sticking with ISIS. Oh, I got the Contagion pack with the Contagious pack with a bunch of my buddies, and uh, yeah, Jesus Christ, all the crap you get out of it is unbelievable. For like, I think it was like uh, 17 bucks each or 14.50, something like that. Definitely worth it. Almost uh, realms into the area of pay to win in a way, but I don't know. I'm I'm still on the fence about it. Boost doesn't inherently mean uh, pay to win, in my opinion. Really depends on how the boosts are handled. So tonight, I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway as well. Uh, preferably when I hit tier 4. If I have 40 or more viewers, I'm going to be giving away a copy of Dead Island Epidemic to one lucky viewer. So, better stick around. But yeah, if, uh, if you want this game, definitely stick around, and uh, if I have 40 or more people when I hit Tier 4, then I'll, s I'll give away a copy to one lucky viewer. Ah, the Q gods are kind tonight. That wasn't long at all. Now, let's see if I can get it to actually display the game. This is still something i got to get fixed up, is this screen switching thing. It can be a real pain in the ass when a game starts up. Hey, Tyve, you guys just staring at a loading screen this whole game. <laughs> there we go. So I'm starting these days, uh, I'm actually starting to take Tornado Leg first over my uh, fist, and wow, I'm getting huge FPS drops uh, tonight. That's odd. That doesn't bode well. Looks like I got uh, a Clan of Two, though, with me, so that's nice. But jeez, this FPS is... yikes. Okay, who broke my game? It's okay, this is a safe place. You can tell me if you broke my game. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> well, here's one thing. A few services running that don't need running. ruh -roll. Looks like one team has a lever. That's unfortunate. Hmm. After this game, I might have to look into the FPS drop. I'm just getting about 40 FPS. Usually I get better. Maybe I can change some graphic settings. That might help a little. Looks like someone else is trying to get the Contagion Pack, too. It's definitely worth getting. Let's see, did that help? Yeah, that helped a bit. Screw it, let's just go full-on low quality. Sorry, guys, it's going to look like crap, but frames beats the hell out of looks, in my opinion. So yeah, these days I'm taking a Tornado Leg first, just because it's so much easier to get through this part with a uh, another mobility move. I used to just take the kick, which, you know would be really great for taking out the barricade quicker and kicking zombies away, but I find that what you can do actually is you can use your alternate fire with the fist weapons after you use your tornado kick, and basically you can do this. Jump out and hit them, and then jump back forward and hit them again, and still hit the barricade with your alt fire. So that's actually really good, uh, that's good bang for your buck. Basically get a really good double hit on everybody, and you still hit the barricade really hard. Plus, you get a lot of mobility to get to the barricade quicker. Totally worth doing if you play Isis. Ah, another spitter. I hate spitters. Oh, and a butcher. That came out of nowhere. Don't want my buddies to get mobbed. Too bad. Alright. So, how's everybody doing tonight? Did y'all have a good Memorial Day weekend? I know mine was fun. Ah, 
Ah, this game doesn't. <laughs> ah, orange beat us. Bullshit. That's what I say to that. Bullshit. At least we got second. Alright, so in this case, I think we're going to want to take our bot flag because it's right next to the hoarder, so we can move in on both, but odds are we're going to meet some resistance from orange there. Especially because they got out first. Ooh, that polar almost got me. Yep, there's orange right now, as we speak. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to try and head him off a bit and see if the if orange does some damage on him. Maybe I might be able to get in, grab some stuff, and get out. Oh, and they got two polars on him, so that's that means stuff like that's going to happen right there. Oh, shit. <laughs> One of them looked at me for a second. So, now that I got that, first I'm going to snag these, and then I'm going to snag these. Oh, good kick, you dick. Ah, failed jump. Yeah, 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 oh no. Pop me a heal. Ooh, they got some good heals on them. Alright, still kind of worked out. I got a good amount, I'm going to run with it so they don't get me. And so we, yeah, that'll give us a good little lead. I could stay and try and get more, but with the amount I'm holding right now, it's getting risky with all my buddies dropping. You see right here, he's staying and fighting, and he is... Is he going to drop? Ooh, he might live. Yeah, it looks like he probably just stunned somebody and is running from them, because he's still taking damage. So the better move there might have been to stay and help him, but it looks like he's going to get out. Yep, he got out just fine. So I stand by that decision. That was a good move. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try... Well, you know what? They're going to try and take that flag, and that's going to be a fight with Orange, which I don't want to get into personally, because that mid flag is looking awful tempting right there if no one's going to chase me for it. So let Orange have the bot if they want. We'll take the mid, which is kind of prime real estate. Yeah, you see, my other teammates got the right idea with me. So... That's how we'll play this. We'll try and get mid out of it. Oh, it looks like green sees what we're doing and they don't like it. Ah, uh, but it looks like my buddy's here, so that's probably going to make that a non-issue. There we go. My whole team's backing me up. That's beautiful. And I got my level 2 Q now, so I have a lovely stun to do shit like this. Oh, shit. Not like that. <laughs> like this gonna get out of that though before I drop the thing is you can't get bloodthirsty because right now if we chase him you see how I'm the only one capping right now they win if we don't get this cap and orange is gonna come stampede us immediately after they get bot so we have to get this cap as soon as possible we can't delay on it oh, man. cool so we got the cap that was the prime concern there I'll grab the stuff and run with it now, Orange got bot as I expected. I assume we're going to see some resistance from Orange soon, but it looks like Green's taken right, so we're going to take left. Now, that means Green's going to have the ability to get the Hoarder immediately after, but if we get left, oh shit. That's going to help us a lot. So we're just going to uh, we're going to play the cap game. We're going to play the game where we just run around and we continuously cap whatever's available. Crap, he would spawn right next to me. <laughs> what a waste of a bandage. Alright, so I have my alts, and I'm a 1v1 machine. I can basically kill almost anyone 1v1, as long as there aren't a lot of other targets around, like zombies. So, we're gonna get this non no contest, probably. Which is freaking excellent. Uh, after that, our best decision is probably gonna go and try and uh, go bot, because I think Orange is gonna go fight for that hoarder. So... Again, we're playing the cap game out of that. We're not going to get the hoarder, so we're going to miss out on some immediate supplies, but we're going to get the, the long game out of it. Oh, look, and green still hasn't actually capped that. I'm kind of surprised. That gives us... Okay. They got that. Orange got that, which green was there too. So like I said, they're currently fighting over that. So if we get bot right now... Ooh, that was a leg spike. <laughs> if we get bot right now, then that's excellent for us. That'll be three flags. You can So you'll see Orange is ahead right now, but they have nothing else to help them out aside from what they immediately got. So the idea here is we just keep rolling, we keep getting our flags. If we're going to start losing our flags, like Green's probably going to take that one right there, that's okay because we got other ones to fall back on, including this one we're about to get. 
Now, if we have to contest, if we get contested for this, that's going to be kind of a pain in the ass. But we'll see how it plays out. So usually, what I like to do these days is actually I tend to take uh, her level two dodge before I take uh, her level two whirlwind. I used to do it the other way around, but I find that the the ability to absorb skills, uh, like skill damage, comes in great handy. Okay, so it looks like they're hitting us on all fronts now. They're taking all of our caps, which that sucks. But what we're gonna do is, since it looks like only one person is mid, oh, two people are mid. Okay, two people are mid. We can fight that. We can kick them right out and take our flag, keep our flag even. That's why mid is so important, because it's so easy to respond to anyone stealing it. So we don't even have to win this fight, we just have to chase him away. But it looks like green's going to make that a bit of a challenge for us. And there's a lot of fuses around. That's killing my already dropped FPS for some reason. <laughs> okay. That wasn't worth doing. Oh man, tried to get my alt off to save me. <laughs> but it's okay because all this time that we're wasting right here, you'll notice we actually kept the flag because green fought uh, against orange. So we actually ended up keeping the flag because orange wasn't able to cap it. Now green might try to cap it, but bear in mind all this time we're still generating supplies for our team. So this is actually beneficial for us that everyone's fighting over mid. Which is another reason why it's good to get mid early, because it tends to be the center of team fights, and that makes it a really hard place to cap later on unless you beat both teams. So it's a vital strategy to grab mid as soon as possible. Okay, so now we have a hoarder over there. I don't think I can solo him, and I'm already on my way left to try and steal from green. Now currently Orange still has a slight lead on us. That's a pain in the ass, but they're about to lose their only other flag unless they respond to that. And while Green's stealing Orange, I'm going to steal Green. I tend to play this character roaming a lot. I find that it's better to just be moving around and getting what you can. Now it looks like my team's dropping though, so I don't know how long this will work out if I someone ch if a whole team comes to stop me. This probably won't be capped. Because I don't have anyone to help me with it. Looks like we're also about to lose another point. It's kind of a pain, but what are you going to do? Luckily, I haven't been contested yet, though. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Spoke too soon. So what I need to do right now, if I want to 1v1 her effectively, is I want to clear out as many zombies as I can so my alt can land on just her. Shit. I missed. Or, I could just have a teammate come. Whoa, another lag spike. <laughs> Those never help. So I could chase after her, but I don't gain much of anything out of that right now. What I need to do is I need to continue capping this. Chasing gets me nothing. And we already lost mid, which is too bad. But that's... it happens. So now what I also do is I take her level 3 uh, evade immediately because it gives a huge... So I'm both invulnerable... And I'm fucking wailing on people. And that's a kill. I'm getting some weird lag spikes this game. Look at me, I'm skating. Alright, so we got a lot of supplies out of those kills. So... Ah, damn. I'm wasting a lot of time being bloodthirsty here, but I want to make sure that she doesn't go back to her buddies. And also, I want to get those supplies. Alright, I'm not going to keep fighting this because we're getting, we're all getting very low right now. It is not worth the fight. I'd rather get these supplies that I have right now back to our base and give us that lead that we got right there. And also, while we're fighting this, we're losing our bottom flag. So again, getting bloodthirsty in this game does not help you at all. And it will actually throw, ga throw more games for you than it will ever help. As fun as it is to kill people. <laughs> that's how you throw and that's how you lose. I don't know why you're standing around there, buddy. Gotta go 